என் பையன் அர்ஜுன் இவர் ரொம்ப ஸ்மார்ட் ஆனா லீவ் விட்டாலே இவர் ரொம்ப லேசி இந்த சம்மர் ஹாலிடேஸ்ல இவன் ஆக்டிவா வச்சுக்க சிஎஸ்சி கம்ப்யூட்டர் கோர்ஸ்ல ஜாயின் பண்ணி விட்டுருக்கேன் ஏன்னா இவனோட ஃபியூச்சர் எனக்கு ரொம்ப முக்கியம் ஜாயின் சிஎஸ்சி டுடே அவைல் சம்ம ஆஃப் வெல்கம் பேக் டு டைகர் மேக்ஸ் சேனல் லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ்ல வந்து நம்ம என்வெலப்ஸ் பத்தி பார்க்கணும் என்வெல் ஹவு டு கால்குலேட் தி ஹவு டு ஃபைண்ட் தி என்வெலப் ஆஃப் எ गिवन கார் இஸ்ன் இட் ரைட் சோ வாட் இஸ் தி डेफिनेशन ஃபார் என்வெலப் எ கார் தட் டச்சஸ் Touches every member of the family of cars. Then that car is called the envelope of the given family of car isn't it right a car a car that touches every member of the family of cars then the car that car is called the envelope of the given family of cars there are several methods to find the envelope of the given family of cars okay so i'll one of the first method is method 1 what is in the method 1 suppose the given family of cars suppose the given family of cars is in the form of f of x comma y comma a parameter a single parameter or f of x comma y comma theta right suppose the given family of car is in the form of f of x comma y comma m equal to 0 or f of x comma y comma theta equal to 0 then then we can rewrite this form of equation we can rewrite this type of equation rewrite this equation by a quadratic equation in parameters for m square a m square plus b m plus c equal to 0 or a theta square plus b into theta plus c okay theta may be sin theta cos theta etc like this okay sin theta cos theta anything equal to 0 right so we can convert it the given equation can be rewritten as quadratic equation in parameters okay right from this quadratic equation we can find out the value of a that is the coefficient of m square is a coefficient of m is b and the constant value is c okay after finding out these three values what is the magic formula to find the envelope what is the magic formula to find the envelope of the given curve b square minus 4ac equal to 0 is the magic formula to find the envelope of the given family of curves okay right substitute all these three values here you can eliminate this parameter m yeah? the given uh, the resultant curve is called the envelope of the family of cars okay now let us directly go to the problem based on the envelopes okay how to find the envelope of the given car right so in your problem the family of cars is given to you you need to find out the envelope okay envelope is nothing but that car touches all the members of the family of cars okay right for example find the envelope of the family of straight lines y equal to mx plus a by m where m is a parameter right right so at So, family of st- 
straight line is given to you, right? I need to find out the n mark of this family of curves, okay, right? So, so given curve is in the form of y equal to n max plus a by n, isn't it? Right? Solution. So, write the given equation as y equal to n max plus a by n. Why I call this as a family of straight lines? This is equal, this is the equation in homogeneous equation of degree 1 in x and y, isn't it? It's a homogeneous equation of degree 1 in x and y. Since the power of x is 1, power of y is also 1, isn't it? So, homogeneous equation in degree 1 with x and y. So, we call it as the family of straight lines, okay? Right? So, this is in the form of f of x, comma y, comma m equal to 0, isn't it? Function of x and y with m. A is a constant that can be taken from the given curve parabola, right? Right. right? So, I rewrite this equation, I rewrite this equation in terms of am square plus bm plus c equal to 0. So, I am going to rewrite the given equation in terms of the quadratic equation by multiplying by m. Okay, right? Multiply this equation with m. So, you get m into y equal to m square x plus a, right? Make it into quadratic form, it will be m square x minus m y plus a equal to 0, right? Therefore, now it is in the form of a m square plus b m plus c equal to 0. So, coefficient of m square is a. So, here coefficient of m square is x and the coefficient of y is b minus y and the coefficient of, sorry, r and the constant term is called c, right? So, after finding a, b, c, the envelope of the given curve b square minus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, b square minus 4ac equal to 0 implies what is b square minus y, the whole square equal to 4 into what is a? Yes, into what is c? a, isn't it? So, this is implies b square minus 4ac equal to 0, isn't it? So, y square minus 4ax equal to 0, this implies y square is equal to 4ax is the is the envelope of envelope of given family of straight lines. Okay. The family of straight in the envelopes of the definitions on our previous videos we will be in the description box of the board will clear you can get an idea about what is envelope. Okay, right? So that's all. So this car is called the envelope of the stand of straight line. That's it. The second one. Y equal to M max plus 1 by M. Find the envelope of the family of straight lines. Family of straight lines Y equal to M max plus 1 by M where that is the parameter. Just what is the difference between the previous problem and this problem? Just A is replaced by 1. So right. So proceed the same problem by taking a equal to 1, you can get the same result. The result will be y square is equal to, what is the answer for the previous problem? 4ax, isn't it? Right? By taking a equal to 1, the result will be y square is equal to 4x. Proceed this problem, same like that of the previous one, right? You can get the answer y square is equal to 4x. So take this problem, do it yourself, find the answer y square is equal to 4x. This is the envelope of the given family of straight lines. Okay? Next one. y equal to m x plus a m square. Right? Find the envelope of the family of straight line y equal to m x plus a m square. This is also the family of straight lines. Why? Similarly, the power of x is 1 and also the power of y is also 1. So, it is a homogeneous equation of degree 1 in x and y. We call it as straight line. So, these are all the general form of straight line. So, we call it as family of straight lines. Okay? Right? Solution. So, how to find the Envelope, how to find the envelope of this family of straight lines, right? So, write the equation as y equal to mx plus a m square, right? Already this is in the form of f of x comma y comma m equal to 0, right? So, I rewrite, I can rewrite that equation into a m square plus b m plus c equal to 0, right? So, therefore, a m square minus mx minus y equal to 0, right? So, now it's a quadratic equation in 
m so where a is equal to what a and b is minus m and c is minus y so what is the formula to find the analog of the given family of curves b square minus 4 is equal to 0 so what is b minus sorry 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 what is b the coefficient of m is b so minus x is the value of b so minus x to whole square b square minus 4 into what is a a what is c minus y equal to 0 this implies x square minus into minus plus 4ay equal to 0 right or we can write it as x square equal to minus 4ay this is also a parabola open downward isn't it right so this is the envelope of the given family of straight line okay this is the envelope this is the envelope of the given family of straight lines that's all right let us go to the ne next problem find the envelope of y equal to am sorry find the envelope of y equal to mx plus root of a square m square plus b square find the envelope of the family of straight lines where m is the parameter a and b are constants a and b are constants that's all right so solution so what is the given equation y equal to mx plus root of a square m square plus b square this is in the form of f of x comma y comma m equal to 0 so uh, I am going to rewrite this equation in the form of quadratic equation in m so y my, I am taking this my mx into left hand side is equal to root of to eliminate the square root in the right hand side I am taking this term into left hand side now I am going to squaring on both sides this square will be eliminated squaring on both sides so what you look y minus mx the whole square is equal to a square m square plus b square now this is in the form of a minus b the whole square apply a minus b the whole square formula so a square plus b square minus 2 into a b equal to a m square or otherwise we can take these two terms into left hand side so minus a square m square minus b square is equal to 0 right now I grouping the terms m square right so by taking m square as common between these two terms so what you will get hmm. so x square minus a square okay x square minus a square into m square so these two terms m square is common and taking it as common so you have x square minus a square minus m term is here so 2xy into m isn't it then what are the constant terms the terms independent of m is called constant term what are the term independent of x here this is 1 and this is 1 these two terms are the terms independent of x so we call it as constant term right equal to 0 right now it is in the form of a m square plus b into m plus c equal to 0 what is a therefore what is a x square minus a square what is b minus 2xy what is c y square minus b square so now I am going to find out the envelope by equating b square minus 4 is equal to 0 this is in place what is b minus 2xy b square equal to 4 sorry minus 4 into a x square minus a square into c is y square minus b square isn't it right equal to 0 right right so next one simplify this square of this value is 4 x square and y square minus 4 into multiply these two terms so x square y square minus x square b, b square x square minus a square y square plus a square b square equal to 0 
right? I multiply these two times, you will get four times x square y square minus x square b square x square minus a square y square plus a square b square. Now I am going to multiply this minus inside the bracket and simplify it. You can get, you can eliminate the parameter m. The result will be the equation of the, the resultant curve is called the envelope of the given family of statelings. Okay, right? Now I am going to simplify it. This implies 4 x square y square under this minus 4 inside the bracket minus 4 x square y square and then plus 4 b square x square plus 4 or otherwise right okay it just multiply inside the bracket plus 4 a square y square minus 4 a square b square equal to 0. We can cancel this 4x square with this minus 4x square and then divide it by 4. Each and every time adding 4 as common, so divide it by 4. So you will get b square x square plus a square y square minus a square b square is equal to 0. Taking this constant term into right hand side. So b square x square plus a square y square equal to a square b square. So divide it by a square b square. What you will get? x square by a b square x square by a square b square. So this b square cancel with this b square. So what is remaining a square plus a square y square is the denominator divided by a square b square. A square is cancel with this a square. So remaining b square in the denominator. So b square equal to by dividing the right hand side also a square by a square b square. So the remaining will be 1. So this is the envelope of the given family of straight line, which is nothing but the general form of Alix, isn't it right? Now look at this equation. The parameter m is eliminated, right? You can get the curve in terms of x and y, right? This is the envelope of the given family of curves. That's all. Right. Similarly, find the envelope of the family of straight lines a y equal to m x plus a square m square minus b square. Right? Then you proceed the same problem. By replacing this term by minus, finally you will get the answer as x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to what? This is the standard form of hyperbola, right? So do it as usual yourself, okay, right? To get this answer, x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1, right? Let us go to the next problem. Find the envelope of the family of straight end 1 plus m square. Right? 1 plus m square. Right. How to find the solution? This is also this can this problem also can be done through uh, comparing the previous one problem. Right? Y equal to m x plus root of a square m square plus b square. Right? What is the envelope of this family of straight lines? X square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1, isn't it? Now, taking a equal to b, right? So, what is this answer? x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1, isn't it? Here, the uh, semi-major axis is a, semi-minor axis is b, isn't it? Right? So, both are not equal, isn't it? a is not equal to b. Suppose, if a equal to b, then this a is becomes a circle, isn't it? If a and b are equal, if these two distances are equal, then this ellipse becomes a circle, isn't it? That's all. So here I am taking a and b are equal and equal to 1. Right? By substituting a equal to 1 and b equal to 1 here, you will get this equation. Is it y equal to mx plus root of a square m square? 1 square m square is 1 m square. Plus b is 1, right? So by taking a equal to 1 and b is equal to 1, isn't it? Proceed the same one. Uh, what we are doing in this problem, right? The same procedure you have to follow to do this problem, right? So, so the result will be x square by 1 square, 1 square plus y square by 1 square is equal to 1. That is x square plus y square is equal to 1. You will get it. What is this? This is nothing but the general form of, sorry, this is nothing but the standard form of circle with center at the origin adding radius 1, isn't it? Now I am going to do this problem, right? Right. Look at it. So, what is the given equation? Y equal to what is the given family of straight lines? Y equal to 
mx plus root of 1 plus m square, isn't it? Take this minus, mx into left hand side, y minus mx is equal to root of 1 plus m square, squaring on both sides. So what you get? y minus mx the whole square is equal to 1 plus m square. Expand through a minus b the whole square form. So y square plus a square plus b square minus 2 m x y 2 a b taking this two terms into left hand side so minus m square minus 1 is equal to 0 rewrite this equation in terms of quadratic equation in m so by taking m square as common from these two terms so what will be the remaining x square minus 1 minus 2 x y into m plus y square minus 1 equal to 0 right now it is in the form of a m square plus b m plus e equal to 0 therefore what is a a is x square minus 1 and b is minus 2 x y that is the, the coefficient of m and the constant value is y square minus 1 so go for finding the envelope by equating b square minus 4 is equal to 0 so minus 2 x y the whole square minus 4 into what is a x square minus 1 into what is b y square minus 1 equal to 0 right so now i am going to expand it so find out simplify it right Right. So what is this value? So 4 minus becomes plus 2 becomes 4 x square y square minus 4 into multiply these two terms into x square y square then minus x square minus y square plus 1 equal to 0. Right? We can divide it by 4 here. Right? So x square y square minus I am going to divide it by 4. So 4 will be considered minus is in the common between four this all these four terms, isn't it? I am going to take this minus inside the bracket. So x square y square plus x square plus y square minus 1 equal to 0. Isn't it? Simplified it. Simplified it. We can cancel this x square with minus x square. So what do you get? x square plus y square minus 1 equal to 0. So x square plus y square is equal to 1 is the envelope of the given family of these straight lines. Right? What do you mean? What do you mean by envelope? A car that touches all the members of this family, isn't it? Now, uh, this is not an examination point of view, uh, uh, that is only for understanding purpose. I am going to how uh, it touches, how this curve touches these members of this family of straight lines. I am going to uh, prove that. Okay, right? This is only for your understanding purpose. I am taking this family of curves y equal to mx plus root of. 1 plus m square. Isn't it? Right. It's a equation. It is the family of straight lines. Right? By giving uh, different values for m, you can get different uh, different straight lines. Okay, right? The, all the straight lines are the members of this family. Right? By taking m equal to 0, what you will get? y equal to, this will become 0 plus root of, by taking m equal to 0, this will be 1. Root 1 is 1. So y equal to 1. So this is one member of this family. I find out one member of this family. By taking m equal to 2, you may give any real number to m. Okay. Uh, for your understanding purpose, I am just taking the integer value for m. You can take m equal to 1 by 2, 0 0.5, root 5, any value you have to take for m. Okay. Right. So now I am taking m equal to 1. What do you get? y equal to m will be 1. So 1 into x, x plus root 5, isn't it? M, M is uh, 1, so 1 plus 1, 2, isn't it? So root 2, right? By taking M equal to 2, what do you get? Y equal to 2X plus root 5, isn't it? So these are all the members of the family. These are all the members of this family, right? Now, I draw a circle x square by x square plus y square is equal to 1, isn't it? So, equation of circle center at the origin having radius 1 unit. Center at the origin. Okay. Right. So, this point is 1 comma 0 and this point is 0 comma 1 and this point is what? Minus 1 comma 0 and this point is 0 comma minus. Right. So, 
what you will get when you are putting n equal to 0, you will get y equal to 1. Where is the decrease of y equal to 1? Taking 1 unit in y axis, right? Draw a line horizontal to x axis, isn't it? Draw a line horizontal to x axis. Look at that. So take one unit in your y axis. I draw a straight line parallel to y axis. Look at here. This curve, this curve, x square, what is this curve? x square plus y square is equal to 1, isn't it? So this curve touches the member of this family, isn't it? This is one member of this family, y equal to 1, right? So this curve touches the member of the unit. Similarly, you can draw these two straight lines. Both of the two straight lines touches the given curve. Therefore, this curve is called the envelope of this family of curves. By taking x equal to 0, what you will get? How to draw this straight line? By taking x equal to 0, what is y? 0, comma root 2, isn't it? x equal to 0, y will be root 2. And then x equal to 1, y will be 1 plus root 2, isn't it? So, mark these two points here. What do you mean by root 2? 1.414, isn't it? So, 1.1 1. 1 is this 2, it is 1.5, 1.4, maybe here, right? So, this point has 0, comma root 2. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Where this point? This point lies on y axis, isn't it? So, 0, take x, 0 in x axis and root 2 in y axis, isn't it? So this is 1, so this is root 2. So this point is 0, comma root 2, isn't it? This is 1, this is 2, this is 1.5, this may be 0, comma root 2, 1.414, isn't it? And 1 plus 1.2 means 1, comma 1 plus 1.414. So 2.414. I take it as 2.4. So 1 comma 2.4. Where is that 1 comma 2.4? This is 1. So the same distance we have to take. This is 2. This is 3. Right? So this is 2.5. This is 2.4. So at 1 comma 2.4, isn't it? Sorry. <laughs> again and again I am mistaken. So take x 1 unit in x axis and 2.4 unit in y axis. Isn't it? The right one? X. So by taking x equal to 1 and 1, you will get ys 2.4. So 1 comma 2.4. Where is that? Taking 1 comma 2.4. Where is the 2.4? Yes, correct. This is 2. This is 3. Isn't it? So 2.4 means this will be half of this distance is 2.5. So 2 point may be here. 2.4 may be here. Right? I mark this point. 1 comma 2.4. 1 comma 2.4. Isn't it? 1 in mean x x axis. Sorry. Where is that 1 unit? That this whole is 1 unit. 1 comma 2.4. 1, 2, 2.4. 1. X axis 1 unit and y axis 2.4. Is it that? 1 comma 5. Isn't it? Draw this straight line. Draw this straight line by connecting. In this rough diagram, I can't clearly locate the points. Okay. Right? So that's why it's just a deviated from the circle. Okay. If you clearly locate that point, then exactly that straight line touches this curve, okay, right, similarly you can go, uh, you can draw this circle, that circle, that, you can draw this straight line, that straight line will also touches this circle, therefore this circle is called the envelope of this family of curves, that's all. So next problem. Find the envelope of family of straight lines. Find the envelope of family of straight lines x cos alpha 
plus y sin alpha equal to a secant alpha. Right? Solution. So the given this is also the equation of family of straight lines, isn't it? Power of x is one and also y is one. So it is the homogeneous equation in x and y whose degree is one. So we take it, we take it as we treat it as family of straight lines. So, right? so how can we do this? X into cos alpha plus y into sin alpha equal to a secant alpha. Now I am going to find out the envelope of the given car. Okay. So now I divide this equation by cos alpha, right? So x plus sin alpha by cos alpha b tan alpha. So y into tan alpha equal to uh, by dividing by cos alpha, isn't it? A secant alpha by cos alpha, isn't it? Here by cos alpha becomes sin alpha by cos alpha tan alpha. Here by cos alpha both will be cancelled. This is x, x plus y tan alpha equal to a secant alpha by cos alpha. What is 1 by cos alpha secant alpha? So we can write it as a into secant square alpha, isn't it? Right? What is secant square alpha? A into that can be as 1 plus tan square alpha. Multiply this a inside the bracket a plus a tan square alpha. So x plus y into tan alpha. Now rearrange this equation as a quadratic equation in tan alpha. So a tan square alpha minus y into tan alpha plus a minus x equal to 0, isn't it? I keep this one a tan square alpha. I take these two terms into right hand side minus y tan alpha and then this x goes to the right hand side it will be minus x a minus x equal to 0. Right? So now it is in the form of a into here, here the parameter is tan alpha. It's a quadratic equation in tan alpha. It's a quadratic equation in tan alpha. Right? So as usually, what is a? Therefore, a is equal to a and b is equal to minus y and c is equal to a minus x. Right? Substitute all these three values in the magic formula b square minus 4ac to find the envelope of the given term. So minus 4 is equal to 0 implies what is b minus y minus y the whole square minus 4 into what is a a what is c a minus x equal to 0 this implies y square minus 4a into a minus x equal to 0 isn't it this implies y square is equal to 4a into a minus x is the envelope of the given family of straight lines Right, that's all. Find the envelope of x minus alpha the whole square plus y square equal to 4 alpha, where alpha is the parameter. Where alpha is the parameter. How can we do this problem? Right. Now, family of curves, this is not a straight line. Find the Envelope of the family of curves. Here it is not a straight line. Okay. Find the envelope of the family of curves x minus alpha whole square plus y whole square is equal to 4 alpha, where alpha is the parameter. Right? It is an equation of circle, isn't it? x minus alpha whole square plus y minus 0 square. Circle at center at alpha minus comma 0 and having radius 2 into root alpha. Right? No need to uh, check what is the given equation, right? So the given family of curve is here. So I want, I am going to find out the envelope of this family of curves. So solution. X minus alpha the whole square plus y square equal to 4 alpha. So right. So this is in the form of f of x comma y comma alpha equal to 0. This is in the form of f of x comma y comma alpha equal to 0. So now I am going to write this equation in quadratic equation in alpha, right? So by expanding through a minus b the whole square form of x square plus alpha square minus 2x alpha plus y square minus 4 alpha equal to 0. Right? So I rewrite it as alpha square. Here there are two terms having alpha. So taking alpha minus alpha is common, isn't it? We can take minus 
alpha is common so 2x plus 4 and then plus what are the constant terms x square plus y square is equal to 0 okay. so now it is in the form of alpha square minus b into alpha plus c equal to 0 it's a quadratic in alpha where a is equal to the coefficient of alpha square is a and the coefficient of alpha is b so that is minus of 2x plus 4 and then c is x square plus y square isn't it so go for finding the value of b square minus 4 is equal to 0 right so square of this value minus of minus of 2x plus 4 the whole square minus 4 into the a is 1 c is x square plus y square is equal to 0 right this implies apply when we taking square sorry when we taking square this minus will be eliminated it will become plus here apply a plus b the whole square formula a square plus b square plus 2ab 2 into 2 2x two into 4 so what 16x right multiply this minus for this minus 4x square minus 4 y square equal to 0 right this implies we can cancel this minus 4x square with this x square so what will get minus 4x y square Take this minus 4 y square into right hand side. 16 plus 16x equal to 4 y square. Can we divide it by 6? Sorry, can we divide it by 4? So 4 plus 4x equal to y square. So y square is equal to, you can take 4 as common x plus 1. This is the envelope of the given family of curves. That's all. So these are all, all these problems based on the same method. What is that method? So given equation in the form of f of x comma y comma m equal to 0 and then it can be rewritten as quadratic equations in terms of the given parameter and then equating the value of b square minus 4 is equal to 0 you can get the envelope of the given family of curves. So this is the method 1. So now I am going to discuss the problem based on the method 2. Method 2. Right. Right. So how the method 2 is differ from method 1 the given suppose the given curve is given in the form of y of, of x comma y comma m equal to 0 then suppose this curve cannot be written in the form of quadratic equation in m then what we can do to find the envelope of the curve if it is possible to uh, write the given equation in quadratic equation m then we can follow the method 1 okay we can follow the steps in method 1 if we can't, we can't be able to the given equation into the quadratic equation in the given parameter then what we will do right so the given function as x comma y comma m equal to 0 so call this equation number 1 and then and then taking partial derivative taking partial derivative with respect to this m okay right so do f taking this f partial derivative with respect to m right and call it as equation number 2 right so solving 1 and 2 to eliminate to eliminate m we can get the answer right so uh, solving this 1 and 2 equation to eliminate the parameter m the result will be the equations in x and y alone that is called the envelope of the given uh, family of curves okay this is the method 2 now i am going to solve the problems based on the method 2 right What is the method 2? Two? 2. So the given uh, curve is of the form. So the given family of curves is of the form f of x comma y comma m equal to 0. So taking the partial derivative of m with respect to the given parameter. Here the parameter is m. Right? Cartes is number 2. From 1 and 2 eliminate m between 1 and 2. Right? So eliminate m between the equation 1 and 2 you will get the equations involving one and only x and by that equation is called the envelope of the given family of car this is called the method 2 right now i am going to the problem based on method 2 right find the envelope of of x cos theta plus y sin theta equal to a 
how to solve it here look at that these equations cannot be reduced re cannot be rewritten as a quadratic equation in sin theta or cos theta so okay therefore i am going to follow the method to and call it as equation number 1 so right differentiate 1 partially partially with respect to with respect to theta what is the parameter given here theta so partially with respect to theta so what you will get x into what is the derivative of cos theta minus sin theta isn't it right what is the derivative of sin theta cos theta plus y into cos theta equal to the right hand side is constant we are taking partially with respect to theta so it will be zero so call this equation number 2 right from 1 and 2 how to eliminate this by taking 1 square plus 2 square implies right so taking square of sum of squares of these two equations so what will get x cos alpha x cos theta plus y sin theta the whole square plus y cos theta minus x sin theta the whole square equal to a square plus 0 square isn't it right i am just taking sum of squares of 1 and 2 right squares of this plus square of this one equal to square of this plus square of this right that's all now expand through a plus b the whole square form so x square cos theta plus y square sin theta plus 2 x y into sin theta cos theta this is the expansion of a this term now i am going to expand this one to a minus b the whole square formula so plus y square cos square theta plus x square sin square theta minus 2 xy sin theta cos theta equal to what is the right hand side a square right here plus 2 xy sin theta cos theta is cancel with minus 2 xy sin theta cos theta right? so both are cancel each other now what is the x square term here there are two x square terms are here so i am taking x square as common from these two terms so what you will get cos square theta plus sin square theta plus sorry square i forget to write this squares isn't it a square so x square cos square theta plus b square y square sin square right same way that y square is common between these two terms so taking y square as common so remaining will be sin square theta plus cos square theta what is in the right answer a square so this becomes one this also becomes one the answer will be x square plus y square is equal to a square it's a standard form of circle center of the origin having radius a this is the this curve is the envelope of the given curve that's all by method two i solve this one right next problem find the envelope of x by a cos theta find the envelope of x by a cos theta plus y by b sin theta equal to 1 okay alpha here here they denoted as alpha no problem about the parameters okay right that alpha is the parameter a and b are constants right so this is also in the form of f of x comma y comma m equal to 0 type but we can't rewrite it into a quadratic equation in alpha right that's why i am follow i am going to follow the method to by taking partial derivative with respect to alpha so i call the given equation as 1 right uh, differentiate 1 partially with respect to alpha so what you get minus x by a sin alpha plus y by b cos alpha equal to 0 call this equation number 2 same like that squaring uh, sum of squares of 1 and 2 right to eliminate alpha from alpha between 1 and 2 right so what is the square value of this one x by a cos theta cos alpha plus y by b sin alpha the whole square plus y by b cos alpha y by b cos alpha minus x by a sin alpha the whole square is equal to 1 square plus 0 square isn't it 
So x prime through a plus b the whole square, right? Here x prime through a minus b the whole square. So what you will get x square by so what you will get x square by a square cos square alpha plus y square by b square sin square alpha plus two times x by a y by b sin alpha cos alpha a square plus b square plus 2 into a b product of these two terms plus x prime through a may be the whole square formula y square by b square cos square alpha plus x square by a square sin square alpha minus 2 times x by a into y by b sin alpha into cos alpha equal what is in the right hand side the value will become 1 you can strike out this positive term in this negative term okay so what is remaining here there are x square terms also here here also x square terms are here so taking x square by a square as common from both of the two terms so cos square alpha plus sin square alpha becomes in the bracket okay plus similarly in the remaining two terms you can take y square by b square as common so x square sin square alpha plus cos square alpha is inside the bracket right so what is this value it becomes 1 this also becomes 1 so the answer will be x square by a square plus y square by b square is equal to 1 so this is the envelope of the given family of curves isn't it right that's all this is the area isn't it right here look at that here so the parameter m is parameter alpha is eliminated right that's all family of straight lines y equal to mx minus 2am minus a m cube where m is the parameter right a is constant a is constant so call i call this as equation number one right isn't it minus 2am minus am cube I call it as equation number 1 this equation cannot be written in the form of quadratic equation m so I am going to differentiate this equation partially with respect to m to get the equation 2 so differentiate 1 partially with respect to m so y will become 0 y because it is a constant other than m, the terms other than m are treated to be a constant in partial derivatives. So this becomes d zero. What do you get? M become one. So one into x minus two a into derivative of m is one minus a into m cube is three m square, isn't it? So zero equal to x minus two a minus three a m square, isn't it? So from that, therefore, what is three a m square? Take this into left hand side equal to x minus 2a therefore what is m square x minus 2a by 3a right here I call it as equation number 2 how to eliminate m between these two it is very easy as one by taking substitution method we can eliminate it by substituting m square value into 1 you can get you can eliminate the value of m by therefore from 1 I am going to take the equation number 1 y equal to by taking m as common from the right hand side so x minus 2a minus a m square isn't it so now i am going to replace this m square by x minus 2a by 3a so this m will be eliminated so the only one m is remaining here right so m into x minus 2a minus what is the value of m square x minus 2a by 3a this a is cancelled with this a so x minus 2 m into here taking 3 as lcm so 3 times x minus 2a minus x minus 2a so 2 times x minus 2a by 3 isn't it right so 
what you will get? So, y equal to m into 2 times x minus 2a by 3. Right? Still, m is presence here. We can't eliminate, sorry, uh, uh, till we need to eliminate this m. Okay, so what is the value for m square? We have x minus 2a by 3 is the value of m square. So m is here. That's why I am going to squaring on both sides to get the value of m square. Squaring on both sides. So what you get? y square is equal to m square into 2 by 3 into x minus 2a. And again we can substitute the value of m square by x minus 2a by 3a. This m will be eliminated. Right? So x minus 2a by 3a into 2 by 3 into x minus 2a. Right? Now look at here. This is the envelope of the given curve, but we need to simplify this. Okay. So 2 by 2 into x minus 2a the whole square by 3a is the value of y square. So taking this 3 into our left hand side, 3a y square is equal to 2 into x minus 2a the whole square. This is the envelope of the given family of curve y equal to mx minus 2am minus m cube. Right? That's all. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just I am mistaken. Where I am mistaken? In squaring, what is y? This become y square equal to this become m square. This will become also square, isn't it? So, what you will get? This becomes 2 square b 4, 4 by 9 the whole square, isn't it? Sorry. Right? So, I read it as 4 by 9. Right? So, what you will get? 4 by 27 a is here, isn't it? So, the answer will be 27 a y square into 4. This is the right answer. Okay. So this is the envelope of the given family of stating y equal to mx minus 2am minus a m q. Right? That's all. So one more problem based on this concept. Okay. I am going to do y equal to mx plus m q. This is also Another one problem I am going to solve the same method, right? So this is also the family of straight lines. I am going to find out the envelope of this curve. So by taking y equal to mx plus m cube as equation number one, right? We can't rewrite it as a quadratic equation in m. So I am going to follow the method two by taking partial derivative with respect to m. So differentiate one with respect to differentiate one partially. That's most important one. Partially with respect to m. Right? So this y becomes 0. m becomes 1. 1 into x plus 3 m square. Right? So therefore, what is the value of 3 m square? 3 m square equal to minus x. So m square is equal to minus x by 3. Is it? I call it as equation number 2. Now I am going to eliminate m between 1 and 2 right so how to solve how to eliminate this one from 1 same like that from what we are doing in the previous one from 1 i am taking m as common x plus m square now i am going to apply the value of m square by 2 right so m into x minus m square the value of minus x cube x by 3 right and substituting the value of m square here so what is this taking x as 3 so 3x minus x that is equal to m into 2x by 3. This is the value of y, isn't it? Right? I have only the value of m square. What is m square? Minus x by 3. Here still m is not eliminated. Okay, right? So I am I am going to eliminate this m by taking squaring on both sides. So squaring on both sides. So y equal to m square into what is the square of 2x by 3? 4 by 9 x square, isn't it? Right? Squaring of this value here. Right? Now again, I can substitute the value of m square by minus x by 3. 
into 4 by 9 x square. So, what is the result? That is equal to minus 4 by 27 x cube is the value of y square, isn't it? Right. Take this 27 into left hand side, 27 y square is equal to minus 4 x cube. So, 27 y square plus 4 x cube equal to 0 is the envelope, equation of envelope for the given family of state. Look at here, m is completely eliminated. The equations only involving x and y. So, this is called the envelope. This curve is called the envelope of the given family of state y equal to mx plus c. Okay. So, right. So, today we discussed problems based on method 1 and method 2 in finding a envelope of the given family of curves. Okay. That's all. Thank you.